Hi, my crafty friends. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, how many of you out there have wood mount blocks, stamp sets, that you're running out of space? Um, or maybe that you found at a garage sale or a thrift store and you wanna convert them to a, a cling mount. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, but first let me give you a little bit of a history uh, lesson on stamps. These were the original red rubber stamps that Stampin' Up! came up with. And then um, after a while realized that um, the wood uh, took a lot of space to store. So then we came up with um, the, the cling mount. And the original cling mounts that were made did not have a really good cling on them. So after a while, um, they had to change their um, the way they made them. And so they came up with a different cling material. So what I've done was with my newer stamps that I get with the new cling, I cut off the portion. I don't throw away the um, excess. I cut off the bigger portions that can be used to convert the old cling to the new cling style. So these ones, the, the original, or once they changed from the wood mount to the cling, sometimes you'll see it says cling mount on the stamp set. Now they're called cling, or clear mount actually is what it was, because they mounted to the clear blocks once we came out with the acrylic blocks. So, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a microwave for seven seconds and then I'm going to come right back and show you how to peel the, the stickers off. Okay, so you want to very carefully peel it off and be careful not to break any of the red or the rubber in between. So you very carefully peel it off. Once you've heated it up, the adhesive is warm and you can just peel the rubber right off. Like that. Then you gotta grab an end of the sticker. Now, um, sometimes you have to peel it, depending on how big the sticker is. You have to use a tool to help. But this comes off, you gotta be careful, you don't want this to rip either. And just be careful if you're stamp is directional. Now this one, um, it's uh, the same on all the sides. Well, actually you want to be careful of the pattern because you don't want to put it upside down, the sticker. But all you do is you put the sticker on top and there's still plenty of stick left. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim around the edges. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim around the edge. Now this does get really sticky. Your scissors are going to get pretty gummed up. But just trim it down. Or you don't even have to trim it down. It just makes it easier to use without all the excess. And I've got my box of cling. Now you have to be careful. There's two different sides. One is really shiny and one side is not as shiny. So what you want to do is take the side that's shiny and start lifting up a corner because what you're going to have to want to do is get the adhesive that's in between. Now sometimes you might need a tool to break the in between. So what you're going to do is peel off the shiny part and we want the adhesive to stay here. So once you peel off the shiny part, actually I'm going to cut this in half. It's pretty big piece. So I've got my adhesive on here. I'm going to go ahead and put it down on the stamp. I'm going to do it again. Now it's the shiny side that you peel off a corner and then you gotta, you gotta lift off the top layer, the shiny layer. To, okay, there we go. So the shiny layer I pull off and then I stick it down and then these just remove them. Now if you do this upside down it's not going to work cling. 
So there we have it. There's my, my cling mount stamp. So I hope that encourages you to go ahead and convert yours to cling. And um, if you like the video, be sure and like and share. Thanks a lot. One more tip when you're doing this, there's still a lot of adhesive left on the wood. Um, so be sure and use your um, silicone mat to lay it down on so it doesn't stick to your papers or your table. So um, that's a great tip. Be blessed and be crafty.